everyone. Today, let's solve a shortest subarray with sum at least k. We are given an integer array numbers and the integer k. Return the length of the shortest and non-empty subarray of numbers with the sum of at least k. If there is no such subarray, return negative 1. Well, wherever you solve subarray, you should be able to uh, think about a prefix sum array. Why? Because usually we will use array to record the sum from the index 0. With the prefix sum array, we can easily get the sum uh, of any subarray. We just need the two index by uh, subtraction. We can get the subarray sum. And look at some constraints. The number's length is less than 10 to the power of 5. Uh, so uh, it means we cannot uh, solve it with the big O n squared time capacity that will exist a time, exceed, exceeds the time limits. And also it can have negative numbers. So how do you solve this uh, problem? Well, just a simple translation. Uh, we have array A, we also have a prefix sum array. And we need to find the two index, index 1 and index 2. And we should satisfy two requirements. Prefix sum index 2 minus prefix sum index 1 should be greater or equal than k. And index 2 minus index 1 should be the minimum length. Well, we will find that there are two rules here. The first is, if this x0, x1, x2 are three uh, indexes, in the array A, and uh, well, you can see the y axis is actually the value there. Um, well, there are value in the prefix on array. So this simply means um, prefix on x0 is greater than prefix on x1, and uh, it is smaller than prefix on x2. Well, if prefix on x2 minus prefix sum x0 uh, greater or equal than k, which means it can be our potential result, right? It also means prefix sum x2 minus prefix sum x1 is greater or equal than k. Why? Because the prefix sum x2 are the same, and uh, prefix sum x1 is smaller than prefix sum x0. When you subtract a smaller value, the previous equation Equation should still hold, uh, or in equation. And uh, you also know that, given both equations or not, uh, I mean both, are, uh, are correct, and uh, x two minus x one is smaller than x two minus x zero, which means this can be the final result, but. Uh, x2 minus x1 cannot because it's longer. So this tells us that we want to maintain a monotonically increasing sequence, right? Because here we have a decreasing, but certainly it will not be our final result. So that's the reason we want to maintain a monotonic increasing uh, sequence. So you should uh, understand uh, uh, this better. Well, we also notice that if the same example here, but in this time we already let these three uh, index follow this increasing rule. Okay, if we find the prefix sum x1 minus prefix sum x0 is great or equal than k, which means it can be our result. For sure, we will also get prefix sum x2 minus prefix sum x0 will also great or equal than k. Why? Because in this time, this prefix x0 are the same. But we know prefix on x1 is smaller than prefix on x2. So if a smaller item minus uh, a thing can greater or equal than k, then if we use a larger number, uh, it minus a thing, it should still uh, greater or equal than k. OK. Well, but the thing is, Certainly, x2 minus x0 will not be the answer because x1 minus x0 is smaller. So the thing is, we are interested at whether uh, x2 minus x1 
one is smaller than x1 minus x0. So which means when we find x1 minus x0 is, um, it can be a result. We just update the result. And at the same time, we remove this x0 because there is no chance it can be a, a potential result. It can be used for a potential result anymore. Okay. So based on these two rules, we can maintain a monotonic increasing uh, deck. What is deck? Deck is a double side Q, which means you can uh, in Q and um, in Q, oh, I mean offer pop uh, on both sides. So okay, now we just uh, translated this algorithm into code. First thing first, we need uh, the n, which is the length of these um, numbers. Then we also need a prefix sum array. Well, the prefix sum array should be long because the data scale, it can cause integer overflow. Then it will be n minus, uh, sorry, plus one. And then we fill this uh, prefix sum array where well, i equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus. Well, pre will equal to, uh, pre i plus one equal to pre i plus numbers i. Okay, now we get a prefix array. Then we need the result. Well, because it can have no answer, which is a negative one. So we should uh, um, initialize as integer max value. Oh, well, in the end, return uh, if result equal to integer max value, then negative one, otherwise just result. And then we also need a, a Q, linked list integer uh, Q new length list. Else, then we just uh, iterate uh, the index in the prefix sum. Notice it is index. So it is in prefix sum zero, i less or equal than n. Not uh, uh, don't forget this equal because it's the index in prefix sum i plus plus and then first thing we need to maintain it as a in an uh, monotonic increasing uh, sequence so uh you should always make sure it is not empty okay if it's, it's not empty and um, well it is needed to be increasing so if uh, uh, pre i is less or equal than pre what well, it will be Q pick pick last. It will be the uh, last part. If less than it, then we should uh, Q remove last. Okay. Now it's increasing. Now we should uh, try to get the result. And uh, if uh, there will be pre i well minus. Now it should be a uh, first, not last. I mean, these two sides of a deck, pre q pick uh, first. If uh, it's greater or equal than k, then we should try to get the result, mass minimum result. Oh, there will be um, i minus pre, oh, sorry, not pre, q pick first. Oh, sorry, not pick, we need to remove it, so it will be removed first. Okay, so. Don't forget to offer it into the queue. So offer last uh, i. Yeah, I think that that's pretty much the thing. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.